hey everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe comment and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends this is a video of my sister's dining room makeover what we're looking at now are pictures of the before and as you can see it wasn't a lot of um, decor there the there was the table the chairs and the buffet which were significant pieces since the table and chairs had this traditional flair and then we have the buffet back there with the mirrors which kind of had like um, more modern touch so we were trying to go for traditional meets modern with this makeover and I think we achieved our goal so this is one last look at the before and here is the after isn't it beautiful? I completely love it. My sister and her husband absolutely loves it as well. We are all so happy with the results. We ran all over the place trying to find these different pieces that we use in the room because this was a spur of the moment decision. So I'm gonna share with you where I got everything from. The table and chairs were purchased from Raymore and Flanagan, which is a big furniture store in New York City. I'm not sure if they're national, but um, I know that they're in the North East. The flowers were from Hobby Lobby. The vase was a gift my sister received um, years ago when she got married. Um, she's been married for 16 years, so she's had that for a while. The candle holders are from Home Goods. The candles inside, I'm not sure where we got them from. The runner on the table is actually not a runner, but a tablecloth that we folded and used as a runner because we didn't receive the runner that we ordered. And I was visiting and I was leaving the next day, so I just wanted to get the video and get content. So we improvised. My sister did get the runner and here is a picture of it. Um, I inserted here. Look at the gold detail in the runner. That's why I thought it would be good for this room. We got the sconces from Kirkland. They cost $24.99. We actually purchased them black, but the black wasn't gonna work for what we were doing. We spray painted them gold but you could still see some of the black coming through. We didn't want it to be too pronounced. We wanted the gold to be very subtle, which I think we were able to achieve. The lamps are from Target. Um, I don't remember the price of the lamps, but we searched high and low to find lamps like that. When we saw these, we knew that they were exactly what we were looking for. The flowers are from Hobby Lobby. All three of those vases are from Family Dollar. I've been very fortunate to find really nice pieces at Family Dollar. Of course, it's no home goods where you're gonna find a ton of things, but every time I've gone in there, I've always find really cute things that I could use for my home. So don't sleep on Family Dollar. Check it out every now and then. Just run in and see what they have going on. The tray is from Burlington. It was a yellow mustard color, but it didn't work with our decor, so we painted it gold. I think the tray was under $14, anywhere from $9.99 to $14. I almost forgot to tell you about the candle holders that we use to um, elevate those two smaller vases. We wanted to play with height. Um, in the tray so we thought the candle holders would be useful and they were I got them from Amazon a couple of years ago I got myself a set and my sister a set it was a set of three there's actually a taller one the wall art is from Burlington it cost $29.99 and we picked it partly because it has some of that gold that we have going on throughout the room in this shot, you can get a closer look at the lamps. They are so cute. And they were good for this project because we were looking for lamps that wouldn't obstruct the painting over the buffet. And this was perfect. 
Let's turn our attention to the wall with the windows. So these curtains we found at Wayfair and also Amazon, but they were about $30 a panel. And we didn't want to spend $30 a panel because we were on a budget. Although my sister blew past the budget, but we were still on a budget. So we decided to go search the web to see if we can find it. We did find it on Macy's.com and they were for $15.99 a panel. They were actually on sale. So we picked four of them up. They were a very good buy. I'm glad we were able to find them. Let's turn our attention to the clock. The clock was purchased at Burlington and it was black originally, but we decided that black wasn't gonna work. So we spray painted it gold. If you notice, it's a very deep gold. It's actually the same spray paint that we used on the um, sconces, but we just did a lighter coat on the sconces because we still wanted some of that black to come through because we didn't want it to be such a deep gold with the sconces. So that's it for the clock. So now we're gonna turn our attention to that little corner by the window with the bar cart. My sister and my brother-in-law, they don't really drink. They do have beverages um, for family and friends when they come over. So they needed a place to keep those things and they didn't have a whole lot of room. It's out of the way and it serves its purpose. They didn't need anything bigger than this. We got this on Amazon. Let's take a look at the chandelier which was purchased about two years ago at Lowe's. I believe it was under 150. We are going over to the other side of the room to take a look at the final wall in the room. This painting was purchased at Kirkland's. It was originally, I think around 169, 179. When we went into the store, we saw it marked down to $79.99, which we thought was a great price since the original price was over $100. When we got to the register, we were told that it was $59.99. I couldn't imagine a better deal that day than going from $179 to $59.99. It was an amazing deal and it looks good in the room. In addition to saving on the painting, we also got 20% off of all the other items we purchased on that day. Let's take a look at the plant, the only plant in the room. This plant was purchased on Amazon. Um, it was for around $79.99, I believe. I thought it was a little bit expensive, again, a budget, but my sister really liked it, so she, she got it. The planter that we put it in is from Marshall's. Um, I think we got that for like $9, $10 because it was a little bit damaged, um, so they gave it to us at a discount, but I think it was probably around well over $20 maybe. The very last thing we're gonna talk about is the rug. And really, that really pulls everything together. I know I've been saying that this whole time, but the rug is everything. It completes the room. It was about $179 from Wayfair.com. And it's a really good price because it's a big rug. It's an eight by 13. So under $200 is really a great price. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is one last look at the before and the after.